when I grew up uh, in Soweto, all that I knew was um, just playing in the streets. You know, there were no recreation centers for us. And as you grew, you ask yourself, why am I different from others? Uh, in the sense that my mother worked as a domestic worker, so we would go with her to work. And we would see Louise and Vivian and David, they had everything, and we had to commute from, you know, uh, Dobsonville to, 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 to Florida. And as a young girl, I always questioned, why am I living in a township in a place like this? And Vivian and Louise and Pat, they live in these nice houses, they've got swimming pools and everything. So from a very early age, I knew that the system was incorrect. I'm very grateful to my mom because all she ever wanted for the three girls, for Rafilwe, Doreen and myself, was for us to be educated so that we're able to do things for ourselves. I am very, very humbled by this award. I'm, um, my mouth is actually shut because there's uh, so many people probably who are deserving of this award. But I'm just grateful, I'm humbled. It makes me want to work even harder. You know, when I do the work that I do, working with UNICEF, with UNICEF, with Rollback Malaria, with, um, with different organizations, with, with uh, Gavi, uh, the global fund that gives money for AIDS, TB and malaria. I did them without even uh, expecting any accolades. I think most of the people who do uh, whatever work they do, they do it because it's a calling, because they believe in it, because they want to make other people's lives better. Um, I don't think anybody out there wakes up in the morning and say, I want to do this because I want to get an award or I want to receive an accolade. So I've got respect for so many people who do so much work out there without being recognized or being appreciated. Those are my unsung heroes. But I'd like to say thank you to South Africa, thank you to the world, thank you to the president and everyone who's seen um, fit to give me this award. I'm grateful and I will keep on doing the work. This doesn't mean that I have to sit on my laurels now and say, now that I've got this highest award from the president, I'm done. This is the beginning of doing lots of good work.